Hi, new families, and welcome to The Middle. We're so glad that you are planning to join us at Islander Middle School. I am Mary Jo Budges. I am one of the co-principals here at Islander Middle School. I have been um, an administrator here for 21 years, and I'm looking forward to next year as much as all of the rest. Hello, uh, good afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this. My name's Aaron Miller. I'm the other co-principal. This is my 19th year I'm completing. So next year will be year number 20. Um, Islanders Middle School is a great place to be. And we're so excited that whether you are a family returning with a, a second student, a uh, family new to us, whatever it may be, we're really excited to have you uh, as part of our team next year and, and being a Gator. So welcome. So... We want to really think about the story of IMS and uh, recognize that being in the middle brings with it a lot of things, um, transitions, challenges, growth opportunities, and our kids face all of these things every day here and sometimes show up um, the amazing people that they are and sometimes show up in a space where they make mistakes and need to learn and grow from them. And that is the... Um, the purpose of us being here um, and guiding them and that um, we understand um, all of the complexities of students ages 11 to 14. Um, and we really uh, lean into delivering on the promise and the power of learning in this complex time. Well, Mary Jo, I just added that, that I, I think it's important to remember uh, that, that the growth through middle school is not linear. It's kind of up and down. So it's more of a roller coaster than a, a straight line. And so uh, meeting kids where they're at and every kid enters to IMS at a different place, whether it's academically or social and emotionally. Um, and there, there will be bumps along the road, but our, our goal is to smooth those out as, as much as possible and make things learning opportunities um, for each child. So our goals through this video, um, we really want you to learn about our school culture, kind of the logistics of what it is to be a parent um, at Islander um, and understand the overall student experience here. And then we really want you to feel confident about the transition to middle school. Um, it's gonna be great. We know it comes with anxiety and stress, but we take really good care of your kids and we provide a, an atmosphere of deep caring and um, rigor and learning. Aaron, I have frozen. Yep, I, I can keep going. So at IMS, uh, we believe in every every kid, as I said before, is unique. Um, we believe in upholding the humanity and dignity of our students and community members. We have lots and lots of different uh, affinity groups that we know come to us and trying to meet all their needs um, is important to us. We also want to ensure a challenging and engaging experience. That's in the, the content, that's on the uh, sports and, acad and, and athletics, that's in clubs, but we want every student as they come through IMS to grow in their levels of what they know and what they're able to do and uh, become better ac academically and social emotionally but from when they come to IMS in sixth grade to when they leave at the end of their time in eighth grade. Thanks for taking over for me. Yeah. Um, I oh. also wanna reiterate that academic challenge and academic behaviors are things that we value very highly here. Expectations matter. And we um, really work with our kids to ensure that they understand the purpose behind learning. And they recognize that we want them to be risk takers and advocates for themselves in their own learning. So you will see that playing out um, in your child's experience at IMS. So again, we've kind of addressed some of these things in the earlier slides, uh, but we wanna make sure that we um, come back to them again. Middle school students are unique. They're in this in-between time of being um, children and being adults. And uh, they have a lot of unique needs and they will make a lot of unexpected choices. Um, and we work to provide a community where it is okay for them to take risks and it is okay for them to 
to make mistakes, that we have high expectations, but we also provide a place where students belong, we have fun, um, and we incorporate the ideas of respect and cooperation and kindness into the foundation of who we are at IMS. Yeah, just to hit on that belonging piece, and that'll come up in some slides later. Uh, Dr. Rundle, our superintendent, talks about four Bs, belonging, breaking barriers, broadcasting. And Mary Jo, what's the fourth one that I'm missing? Um, Sorry. Be I Belonging, breaking barriers, broadcasting, and belief that there's adults that believe in students. And we, we have all those here. We've really been focusing on that belonging piece because once kids belong, we know that they can do so much when they feel like they're in a great spot. So, you know, what we want to be authentic about is that um, IMS is an amazing place. We have stayed here for a reason. We believe very much in who um, our kids are, who our community is, and who our staff are, um, and great things happen here. Your kids learn a ton. They grow so much. They are challenged. They are supported. Um, they are held accountable. Um, they learn and they grow. But we also want to be really authentic and real that challenging things happen here. Middle school students do not have fully formed brains. They, um, their frontal lobes are still growing and they will make decisions that are unexpected and sometimes frustrating and sometimes hurtful. Um, and we just want to own the fact that this will happen. And when it does, we will work through those challenges together as a community. We will address them head on and we will work to restore and repair and continue on. So one of the major um, things that we want to hit on today is the idea of getting connected. Our, the school day is rich with learning opportunities and social opportunities, but so is our after school program. And so we want to make sure that you see that getting connected in the middle is essential for your children. There are lots of sports opportunities between cross country and volleyball and drill in the fall and winter, wrestling and ultimate Frisbee in the winter, spring and um, e-sports happening winter, spring, and track happening in the spring. All of those things provide incredible connection and um, relationship building and risk-taking opportunities. And then look at the plethora of clubs that we have that are available to your students. Really make sure that you look into those, work with your students on choice opportunities for those, and um, really push and challenge kids to get involved. And then we also have the competing clubs with Destination Imagination and Jazz Band. Aaron, uh, anything you wanna say there? Just to this all goes back to that, one of those four Bs, the four Bs of belonging, um, that kids we know find connection with school and with their peers through clubs and activities. That's why we offer so many different ones and it might change next year. There might be some that are added, might be some that are dropped based on student interest, but a lot of these clubs are new based on feedback from students. So we try to meet students' needs by offering what they're interested in. So just a way to get connected as the title of the slide says. Well, and something that is a, a in the fabric of IMS too is that clubs, have been drop in in the past um, because we really want kids to try them out and um, see what fits and then continue going to those. And um, as a support for that, we, ha we have an activity bus that runs um, kids home at the end of the um, school day or at the end of the club or sport or activity. And so that is a huge benefit um, for our families here at IMS. Uh, just real quick to run through the student, the schedule, um, and you can see it in front of you. All students will take math, language, arts, social studies, science, and then a rotation, a required rotation of tech block, um, which has some STEM stuff in it, some robotics, basic robotics, as well as some technology, uh, other applications, health and PE, those are required. And then uh, kids have a choice between a music class, band, choir, orchestra, 
or there's a rotation of art, creative writing, and drama that the students can take instead of the music class. And finally, at the end of the day, we have Gator Time, which is a 25-minute session at the end of every full day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, where, uh, and, and here are some of the things we work on in Gator Time. It's community building. It's support for social emotional things. Um, give kids time to do homework. We know a lot of kids have things after school um, are pretty booked as we look at our track after school and there's lacrosse practice or uh, basketball we know. So we build that time within the day for kids to get a little bit of a jump start, but also do some studying, whatever they need. It's really a kind of a win time, whatever I need time, but we do do some other uh, directed stuff in there as well. For those of you that may be seventh and eighth grade families, Mary Jo, if you could go back, um, pretty similar but the options expand. Uh, all kids take math, language, arts, social studies, and science. There is a required trimester of health in seventh grade, um, but then there's lots of elective choices that broaden significantly when we get into seventh and eighth grade, including uh, more art classes, more robotics classes, programming, aerospace, marine biology, music, uh, dr drama, debate, Tons of things. So the offers expand and that's a nice transition because we don't want to get to high school. The offers expand even more. So um, that's just a kind of a preview of seventh and eighth grade. To kind of talk about Gator time already. So one of the questions is, as kids and families move from elementary to middle is, I'm going from one teacher, maybe two teachers, and all of a sudden in middle school, we have five, six, seven, depending on the trimester, could be um, more than that. Uh, teachers and how do I stay connected? How do I, if I have a question, what do I do? Who do I talk to? Because it's hard just not going um, to just having that one teacher, but it still stays the same. We want you, if you have a question or concern, to first di work directly with the teacher. Um, at our back to school night, the teachers will talk to you about their preferred mode of communication, um, but they're the ones closest to the source and closest to the, the curriculum or the question. So we ask you to start with them. Um, we do have counselors for social emotional support for kids. Um, those counselors are listed down at the bottom. We'll introduce you to them when we get to the to the fall. And they can also do things like the counselors can support pulling all the teachers together and having a meeting with you if if there are concerns that are going across different classes. But really, it's the same, although it looks different. Um, working with the teacher is the most direct thing to do. Um, yeah, I think that that's kind of what, what we want to relay in this slide. Well, and if you are new to a middle school, um, utilizing academic and social emotional counselors might be new to you as well. And so if you don't know where to start, if you have a question and just are uncertain of who to ask, starting with your counselor, um, as labeled on this slide, um, like Aaron was saying, is really the right place. And they can um, guide you. They can um, help you reach out to an individual teacher. Like Aaron said, they can bring a team of teachers or group of teachers together if that is necessary. But what we want our families to know is that we want to be partners with you. We want you to ask questions when you have them. And all along, our goal is for our students to start assuming that advocacy role for themselves. But especially in the sixth grade, they are not um, independent learners yet. They have not learned all of those skills. And so we truly want to be partners with our parents in this process. Well, finally, I would add to that, Mary Jo, that I think a lot of time, it, there's a push and pull of middle school. We've been, Mary Jo and I have been doing this a long time. There's a push and pull where the kids are trying to push you away. We, you know, I, I got it. I have it under control. Don't, don't get involved. Um, I'm middle school. Sometimes they're embarrassed. I have my own kids. Sometimes they're embarrassed of me. Uh, stay away from school. But we, the pull, the pull is that we want to pull you back in. Although they're pushing away, we want to pull you back in and partner with you as much as possible. Whether that's around a. a an issue in the classroom or a situation in the classroom, whether that's around a need your student has, um, we want to support you in whatever way we can. So lots of communication things. You know, one thing we're really focusing on is how to balance not enough communication, too much communication. Uh, people digest information in so many different ways now. Um, we're trying to meet the needs of all families. Every Monday we send out kind of a just a brief bullet point 
um, set of announcements for the week to families um, with some information, some things to come. Um, so look for that on every Monday morning. We send that out. There's also um, our counselors will send out periodic newsletters. The, the PTSA will. We would love for you to join our PTSA. We have an awesome team um, from our PTSA group. But just, and then teachers will send out things. So we'll give you a lot more information on this in the fall as, as the slide is, is bouncing around saying stay tuned. But just know that we want to communicate with you and give you that information you need, but also not overload you. Many of you will have multiple kids at multiple levels and getting tons of communication is really challenging. We understand that, but, but giving you what you need when you need it is our goal. Couple transition events, um, our web leaders, which web stands for where everybody belongs. It's our eighth grade transition program that helps our sixth graders come in. They'll be going to the elementary school for those of you that are currently in elementary schools um, on the island. We do have back to school day, uh, back to school day. I don't think it's scheduled yet, Mary Jo, do we have a date on that yet? No, we, we, we didn't put any dates on these yet because we're in process of identifying those dates, but we did want to make sure that you knew that these were transitional events that support new families to IMS, really all families, but specifically new families. Yeah. So that back to school day is a time where you come to school. It's usually the week before school starts, get your picture taken, get your schedules, walk around campus to uh, find your classrooms. There's PTSAs there. You can buy uh, sweatshirts and or order sweatshirts and different uh, IMS gear. And then usually in the first couple of days of school, we have a sixth grade and new family pizza night where uh, families come in the evening. Usually we have about 300 people that come and um, just kind of meet everybody, um, just kind of get comfortable in the space because IMS is a big middle school. We are on the large side and we know some of you might come from our elementaries that have 400 kids or a real small, smaller school. Um, we do have 900 kids in our school, about 300 each grade level. So just kind of getting comfortable in the space because it is a big space. And then sometime in mid to late September, we'll have a curriculum night where families will be invited to come meet the teachers, walk around campus, trying to add time for parents to get comfortable in the space because it's new for them and to get comfortable with the teacher. So as soon as those dates are finalized, um, hopefully before the end of the year, we'll get those out to you. If not, it'll be right away. Early summer, we'll get those to you because we know everybody's busy. So we'll get you those as soon as we can. So Very overall, we just want to... Oh yeah, we just want to thank you so much for um, watching our video, for um, choosing I Islander Middle School and for putting your uh, trust in us. Uh, we really take our jobs seriously. We care deeply about your kids and work very hard to make this a place um, where they uh, truly belong, where their voice matters, um, their experience matters and their learning matters. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.